and the Philistines were gathered on another hill. And there was a great valley in between them. It's a very sad thing to say, but the army of God's people were not doing too well. They kept saying that they were dismayed and terrified. But the Philistines were, pretty, were feeling pretty happy with themselves. They thought they were the greatest. We are the greatest. How could this be? How could this be is a very good question. And there's a very good answer, which you understand when you meet Goliath. Roar! That's Goliath. Yes, that is Goliath. Listen to what the Bible says about Goliath. He was over 9 feet tall. He was so big that the armor he wore to protect himself weighed 105. He wore thick metal covers on his legs and a spear. Get this? You know how the has a spear in the middle? Well, Goliath's spear weighed about 15 pounds. In short, ladies and gentlemen, Goliath was a big guy. Goliath was the kind of person who would send Superman running for cover. about Goliath wasn't what he looked like, but what he said. Hey Israelites, you bunch of wimps! Which, oh, let's settle this, let's settle this fight once and for all. I dare you to choose a man to meet me in the valley for a fight to the death. Whoever wins, his people will get to rule over the loser's side. Let's see if your God will save you now. Things didn't look too good for the Israelites. Goliath was very strong, very e evil. The Israelites were just petrified. They did have a fighter nearly as big and strong as Goliath. The Philistines told them they were sunk. You're sunk! While the Israelites get into a huddle and try to decide what to do, and the Philistines get into a huddle and play trivial pursuit. I'll tell you about David, the hero of our story. David was an Israelite, but he was too young to fight in the army. He stayed home and took care of his father's sheep while his brothers went on to fight. Now David was a very special young man. He knew that God was always with him, and this made him very brave. Sometimes when he was guarding his sheep, a bear or a lion would come, and David would kill it with whatever weapon he had, including his bare hands. One day, David's father sent him to where the Israelites were fighting to take his brothers some food. It just so happened a it just so happened that while David was there, Goliath spoke again. Hey Israelites, you bunch of babies! Which one of you is going to fight me and get pounded into the ground? <laughs> Look at God's chosen people running away! David couldn't believe what he was hearing. He said, How dare this man talk about God like that? Who does he think he is? Goliath thought he was the strongest man in the world. He probably was. But he hadn't counted about what was going to happen next. David stepped forward and said he would fight Goliath. I'll fight Goliath. The Philistines looked at David. He was so small compared to Goliath. They just laughed. <laughs> the Israelites told David he was only a boy. He couldn't fight a giant. You can't fight a giant. But David was not afraid. He knew that the Lord wanted the Israelites to win this war. He said, The Lord who saved me from the lions and the bears will save me from the Philistine. So David and Goliath went down into the valley and met each other face to face. Goliath yelled at David in his fearful voice. David, I hate you. I'm going to murder you and feed you to the animals. But David told Goliath that he wasn't, he wasn't just fighting in his life. He was fighting God. And God would prove to the whole world that he could defeat anyone. He said, God will defeat you, Goliath. Then they circled around each other. <laughs> then they circled the other way. <laughs> David had his little slingshot. Goliath had his huge spear. It looked like David didn't have a chance. He hasn't got a chance. But then, just as Goliath was driving back with his huge spear with its 15 pound head, David took aim with his slingshot, fired a stone, hit him right in the forehead, and the great giant. <laughs> the 
Yes, he did. Then the Philistines who suddenly realized they had lost, turned around and took off over the hill. The Israelites, who suddenly realized they had won, took off after the Philistines. So, the, so David defeated Goliath, who was so much bigger and stronger, because the Lord helped him. And that is the end of the story.